A subtle trail from your complex signals an incoming transmission. Luna appears on the holo. On the hollow, I guess it would probably be a little bit more specific. Looking annoyed as usual. What's that in there? Admo is low. Looks like power is too. Nothing exciting in the airlock. Seeing as this is our first job in a while, try not to botch it. I got a chip and burning need of fuel and parts. Any questions of the job? Um, what are we after again? Boss, may I just say you've got a mind that's more plastic sleeve than steel trap? Well, it's true. I, I forget stuff really easily. That's actually a really good um, comparison to my actual being, too. But either way, it's not the point, Luna. Don't give me, don't fucking sass me. Noted. We're looking for whatever sent the distress beacon. They might need a part, some fuel, or maybe a lift back to the station. Either way, let's see if we can help out and earn ourselves a paycheck. Alrighty. Oh, any communication from the crew? No one's answering my hails. On local comms, you should head to the cockpit to see if you can find someone and get a lead on what happened. I'll sweep the exterior again and check later. Sounds good. Alrighty. Hold up. Getting a uh, call relay from the Stig's wire for you. Who's calling? A snarl creases Luna's mouth. Corp rep for Chimera by a Parma Solutions. You want me to patch them through? Um, sure, I'll talk to them. So this is Chimera over here giving us a little bit of a shout out. Thank you for taking my call. I'm contacting you on behalf of my employer as I believe our interests may be aligned currently. The ship you've boarded was delivering medical supplies belonging to my employer. The supplies were to be paid for by the recipients, but as it is now seems they will not be delivered, we would like to reclaim our property. My employer will pay you 100 credits to locate and return these supplies. So since we're the smuggler, we have a little bit of an option here. Surely the retrieval of valuable supplies under dubious circumstances merits a more appropriate reward, and we're going to definitely choose that one for us. Ah, I sense that you are keenly aware of your interest in retrieving these supplies without delay or complications. Please do note this is not a typical. My employer does not haggle with the third-party contractors. I will authorize a payment of 150 credits final offer. Will you collect the supplies or not? Sounds reasonable. Excellent. I will ensure the credits are deposited to your account when you have secured your supplies. Thank you in advance for your services. Alrighty, so we were able to haggle right there because we had the smuggler uh, class itself, which is the, my main character itself, and that's the reason why I went with that one, because I wanted to check that one out. So, let us find out what awaits us over in this little dungeon over here. Or well, I guess not really a dungeon. I gotta keep stop calling them dungeons. This is a spaceship of some kind that we were here invading. Calarek, heads up, we got PEEs active. Someone must have activated security systems, stay frosty, place him probably, place is probably crawling with them. Target practice time. Oh, we have one over here. So we're gonna go into combat with this little dude over here. What's going on, man? Ah, oh, look at you. You're like a green little slimer. Alrighty. So we're gonna go with um Akimbo first and foremost over here. Oh, he's got a bit of a shield of some kind. And this guy, unlike um Unlike our friend, um, Sudsy actually does actually want to kill us, so <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Akimbo's over here on the cooldown, so we use the, uh, regular shot. We missed a few shots, but we did finish him off, and that's pretty good. Directing experience, click to continue. Excellent. Alrighty, let's go forward over here. We have two doors, roughly. Well, three doors with the one in front of me. I guess we'll check this one out first and foremost and see what, um, going down below is going to lead us to over here. Another door. Alright. The fuck is this contraption over here? Another door. Can I interact with this bad boy? Looks kind of interactable, but not really. Alright, so we're going into a bunch of doors now. I hate getting myself lost, but at the same time, I kind of like it too. Alright. See, it's one of those weird things, you know, where you're just kind of wandering around. And it's kind of like, oh, the element of surprise. Anything available for us here is a mug of some kind. Can I take that? Playing tic-tac-toe over here? tic tac toes rigged, man. If you start in the middle, you, like, you know, fucking 75% of the time win. It's always whoever starts in the middle. Alrighty, so let's go over here. I'm pretty sure there's some tic-tac-toe champions out there telling me, like, Falcon, I'm pretty sure I could start anywhere and still beat you. And I'll be like, you know what? You're probably right. You're probably right. I'm not necessarily a tic-tac-toe master, but I try my best when I play it, and... Yeah, I'm pretty dog shit terrible at it, but that's besides the point. So we're finding nothing over here right now. Alright. Nope. Another PE. Going to this battle with this guy. Alrighty, my friend. I'm gonna do you the way I did your friend. I'm just gonna give you a heads up right now. Akimbo away. A little bit of shield right there. Throwing some of the damage. We have a shield ourselves, so unfortunately, luckily, we're not taking any damage right now from him. Go to shot ability over here, and that should be it for our friend. That's all she wrote. Alrighty, 13 experience. Excellent. Now then, we were here. There's another door yet again. But before we go through that, let's go ahead and um, examine about. Be really ev um, adamant about. Yeah. So this right here, credit stick. Be really ad um, adamant about um, looking around in free roam because you could find a lot of items in the ground that way. 
I've probably missed a few already by not taking my own um, advice. There's the storage canister over here, which we're going to find a med kit, take all. Excellent. I don't think that's probably the item that were, the people were looking for that called us in, but at least we do have a med kit now, which is pretty interesting. We could kind of heal up if we're in trouble. And this is going to lead me back up, huh? Hmm. Before I decide to go back up, I think there was another door down this way, correct? So let's continue going down over here. Oh, no, no, that was just a room. So we're fine in that regard, but there was this door. Oh, what do we have here? Tablet. Uh, someone was composing a message in his tablet when whatever happened, happened. This deal is too flush to pass on, even if Captain ain't going down with transporting camps. What she don't know can hurt us. I stashed the goods in my locker, pass goods in the galley, in the usual place. Remember, red, yellow, red, yellow. My contact will flag you when you get a Parsi sector for the drop. So red, yellow, red, yellow is the pass code itself. And it looks like some shady dealings between the two of the crew. So, yeah, I guess people were smuggling some drugs over here without the captain being aware of it. So, we're looking for the the locker, right? In my locker, passcodes in the galley, in the usual place. Remember, red, yellow, red, yellow. Alrighty, we'll keep that in mind. And let's see over here, nothing about. And over here, we are done. Okay, is that, is that fucking Arnold over here? That's not Arnold. <laughs> Seemed like a fit dude, that was Arnold the first second. Alrighty, so, we've been through there. Let's go back upstairs now, I suppose. And we can keep track of what we've been through because the doors now turn blue after you've gone through them once, so at least that should be our our signaling point, like, hey, yeah, you've been here already. So we'll keep that in mind. There is so many doors over here, though. Mm, let's go back down this way where we kind of started and take a turn over here before we continue going forward. Oh, this door is red, which is going to be locked. The cargo hold uh, door is on lockdown. Call Luna to scan the hold for the exterior. Uh, you're gonna keep me. You're gonna keep bugging me every five minutes or find some loot. I'm at a cargo hold. Nice. What they got in there? Crates of creds. And it's on lockdown. Can you check the hold doors from out there? <laughs> yeah, swinging around now. Get ammo. Got ammo venting out here. They're a jar bid. You have to override the lockdown from the cockpit if you want in there, which you do because credits. Alrighty. So from the cockpit itself. We'll keep that in mind, and let's continue going back to where we came from, I guess. And see what is out there for us. Um, there's two doors that I'm looking at right now. But again, I'm trying to be evident, I'm really vigilant about finding some creds out there. Because, you know, we need money. We definitely need some money to make some things happen for our journey onward here. There's another door coming back down on the other side of the ship, it seems. Oh, we have some, um... We have... Some of these lockers over here, which is probably what that individual was talking about in the tablet. Alright. Anything around here? Not quite. Not quite. Alright, so. Ah, uh, let's see. The crew's personal lockers appear intact and untouched. Whatever happened to the crew, no one seems to have taken anything of value. So, investigate the, the lock labeled, or locker labeled Cascaro. The contents of the locker are nearly neatly arranged. But there is nothing of interest or obvious value. Personal effects indicate this locker may have belonged to the captain. Ah. Alright, so let's, let's check out Jablonski. A torrent of trash and candy wrappers pour out of the locker when you open it. Besides some artwork, quote unquote, of questionable taste, there is nothing of interest in the locker. Alright, let's check out Smiths. Beneath a stack of manifest orders, you uncover a small hidden compartment sealed with a mag lock keypad. Ah, that's probably the one we're looking for. Alrighty, so take a closer look at the mag lock keypad. It appears to be a standard four-digit maglock keypad. Entering the correct code will unlock the compartment. This model has a warning label indicating if it's a fail-safe mechanism to destroy the contents if tampered with. So, enter the code. Uh... Well, it said red, yellow, red, yellow, right? I'm gonna leave it alone for now because I want to double... I want to make sure. But, um, let's leave the compartment alone for now. But we, we at least know that's there, right? Let's also check out Nico's where we're at it. A large stash of candy bars is neatly stacked and ranged in the center of the otherwise empty locker. Grab a candy bar. Ah, hey, we got some, we got some credits for that. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so, um, there you go. Now, we, we want to make sure about that, um, that locker or that safe that we found. The cargo hold is venting at me when the door is on lockdown. You need to override the lockdown for the cockpit. Alrighty, cool. So we need to find the cockpit to unlock two of these doors, and we also have the credits over here from that, um, or not the credits, but the safe that we need to make sure that we're making the right call on. Some cred sticks over here. Ah, oh, there's some of the fucking stairs, too. Now, those are kind of tricky to find when you're going down them. Going up the stairs is a little bit more easier to kind of just notice them, though. Alright, so let's find out. Oh, this, oh, medical supplies. Oh, that's what we're looking for. 
At least for the um, call-in job. Medical crates stamped with the logo of Chimera, Bioparma solutions are stacked here. A shipping manifest is clipped to the front. Inspect the shipping manifest, leave the supplies alone, contact Luna to dock and collect the supplies to sell, contact Luna to dock and collect the supplies to delivery for Chimera. So we're gonna do the Chimera one. You are go for it, Luna. Bring the shuttle around, I've located the medical supplies Chimera we're looking to claim. Roger, while I won't offer my opinion on Chimera, I can state categorically that I love me some creds. I'll relay what we got, the goods, okay. So we, um... Got that mission completed now, which is good. But we still need to find the actual cockpit itself, and I'm trying not to be immature and snicker at, this, uh, at the wording of me saying cockpit, because let's be obvious here. <laughs> cockpit, right? Anyway. Let's, um, hmm, nothing here. Interesting looking wall, door. I don't know anything about spaceships, man. So the cockpit, maybe down that way. I saw some red glimmering thing over here, but I guess that was just basically the engines underneath it or something. Let's go down this way. Oh, cockpit it is. Alrighty. So, now that we're here, let's take a look around, make sure that we're not missing anything of value here. Up, 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 up. I saw something down over here. Boom, boom. Alrighty. Log terminal. The bridge is ominously lifeless. Luna's face appears on your comm. Nothing to report out here. Escape pods unlaunched. Looks like some airlocks might have been opened, though. I'm not, I'm not liking their chances. No signs of life. Several signs pointing to a quick dead. More importantly, nothing of value. Creepy. You find a shipped log. Logs are here. Let me see. The display is open for the ship's log. Someone was in the process of making an entry. Scanning the log, uh, the log entries reveals that the crew recently discovered a massive ship. The words score for a lifetime are a recurrent theme. This sounds promising. Logs mention a colony ship, big one, registered under the name Stella Martin, found founded adrift in the Gurgan sector. Got the cords here. Gurgan, huh? That's only four parsecs from here. Anyone on board? Completely abandoned. System still functioning. No apparent signs of mechanical distress. That sounds like a mint find. There's also mention of some cargo they looted from the ship. Log cuts out after that. I say you unlock the cargo hold and see if they pulled out anything worth taking. No crew means their untimely demise is our gain, right? Unless their demise was in the cargo. Ah. Things finally show signs of getting interesting, and now you're worried about a little danger? You're a crawler. The possibilities of violence is just icing on the loot cupcake. Get your weapons ready and stop winging. Good point. Or winging? Figured you'd say whining. Alrighty, so let's override the lock of the cargo hold doors, which we have now, and... Let's take a look around here before we leave. Make sure there's nothing of value that I'm leaving behind. Doesn't quite seem like it. Go back upstairs, and let me check this little area out before we continue. Nothing over here. Okay. So, the door should be unlocked now. There is still... Ah, another PA. So we'll fight this guy out of here first and foremost. Yeah, come on, bro. Oh, you're gonna start with the attacks this time around, huh? Good for you. Good for you. Let's the Kimbo away. Get your, um, energy shield down. Then we'll shoot you regularly, and that's gonna be all she wrote for you. These guys aren't really that big of a deal, so... Um, again, we're still kind of in the tutorial portion of the game itself, so I doubt they're gonna be throwing that many difficult things towards your way right now, but... Keep that in mind. So there is another storage catch over here. And what do we got? Ah, uh, we got ourselves, ooh, some armor and a boom slang thrasher. We'll take all. And let's look at this armor, see if it's actually worth our time loadout. Uh, smuggler's cape is what we have right now. So this will be actually give us a armor reduction of damage. So I can go up, huh? And we can upgrade this up two times, and this is um, no longer upgradable. Require level one, require level one. Perfect, so let's go ahead. Place this bad boy on. Excellent. Alrighty, and we also have this, um, Drasher over here. Hmm. This seems to be more of a weapon for the ninja, though, I would say, right? Yeah, common light melee weapon. I'm gonna hold on to my guns because I like my skills with it about the, um, double pistol shots, so I'm gonna hold on to that. That's pretty cool. If we make a ninja class as our next recruit, we go check that out and keep that around for them. Alright, so right now, look at our map over here. We're probably looking to go down this way. Or that way. Remember, there's two um, areas that were locked. They might lead to the same area, mind you. So, in terms of the... I mean, opening this up over here, let's find out. Alrighty, so I I'm certain I'm gonna botch this. The I went back to check out the log code itself, because unfortunately you don't stash it on your log, so it would be really beneficial if you did, but you don't. So I went back all the way to the room with the um, log itself, and it said red, yellow, red, yellow, in the galley. So I went back to the galley itself, which is where the dining room area is. The only thing I could really ascertain from that was that it was talking about ketchup and mustard, because that was the only things that I saw there that was like red, yellow, red, yellow, and that sort of, um, I guess some pattern. 
I checked around that area, I couldn't find a goddamn thing that kind of let me know that, um, what the code itself was. So, I'm gonna give it a try here. Let's, um, check out submits, and then we'll take a closer look at the keypad over here. Submit the entered code, force the compartment open, or leave the compartment alone. I, I can't fucking tell what it is. I, I feel like it's gonna be, um, destroyed. Maybe if I force it open, I don't know. Enter code, so I, I literally have to do this myself, huh? Ah, uh, it appears to be... A standard four-digit maglock key. So it said red, yellow, red, yellow. Maybe ketchup, mustard, ketchup, mustard. I don't know. Let's try KM, KM. It's gonna probably blow up in my face, but so be it. Yep. Try something else. Oh, at least it didn't destroy itself. Can I force it open? Uh, Calorac batters on the compartment heroically. A series of clicks and worse comes from the maglock, and the access lights begins to flash. Uh, is that good? The access light turns green, and you hear the soft click and the lock disengaging. Opening the compartment reveals a small stash of recreational camps. You should offload these at the station for a decent price. Alrighty. Take the camps and close the compartment. Excellent. Oh, not yet implemented. <laughs> choo choo, take a ride in this crazy train, bitch. Alrighty, so we need to take that definitely. Leave the locker's room. Alrighty, so now let's go into this area, which is probably going to be pretty dangerous because this is the area that was locked and apparently where most of the crew lost their life. So, let's find out what is available to us. This is the other entrance right here. So, oof. What's going on down there? What's the word, boss? Is it antiques? Hot goods? Spices? I love spices. It's a crate. Crate of what? Infinite riches that are not in our immediate future. I'm afraid one lowly cargo container is all we get. A string of incoherent curses fills your ears. You're fucking with me, right? You're such a joker. Haha, <laughs> no joke. I'll go see what's in it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Open a crate already. Ah, seems like a really bad idea, but okay. Open a crate just because this woman has a fucking need for, um, creds over here. Better than need for speed, though. Alright, sealed crate. Let's open it up. Um... Fumbling with each latch of the crate, you hear a faint wearing you from within. The sound of machinery coming slowly to life. You hesitate with one hand, resting on the lid. So we ready our weapons, ready to open the crate? Open the crate, man. You move to open the crate. As you release the latch, a lid begins to lurch open, as though propelled by a powerful force from within. Um, oh my lord. Hold the lid shut or draw and fire on the crate? Uh, let's just draw and fire on the crate. You unleash hell into the crate. Resale value be damned. Waiting cautiously for a few minutes, you note that the sound from the wi from within um, has appeared to die down. Cautiously, you move to open the crate once again, but a crash the lid jerks open and dates around. Figure it unfolds itself with combat stands. Look, it's time for a fight. Alrighty, well, hopefully I did some damage beforehand, right? I did a little bit of damage, yeah. This guy doesn't even have a name. Alrighty, hey, how you doing, man? Um, is there a chat option here? Can I talk to you? No? Okay, so we have to fight it out. That's okay. We do have a few medkits. Oh, my lord. Why are you charging? Don't charge up, man. What are you doing? Can I get you out of this charge attack? No. I was hoping I could. Oh, you're still charging. This is really, really bad for me. <laughs> this cannot be good. What is this over here? What do you do? Backpack? Yeah, I'm gonna probably need that medkit soon. Come on, get out of the attack mode, man. Oh, no. Oh, thunderclap. Nah, that was it? Well, it, it ruined my shields completely, so I guess I shouldn't be like, that was it. Because, yeah, that could be really terrible now that I have no shields. So, yeah, we're, we're in a bad spot. Oh, no. You like to charge up attacks, don't you? So, basically, right now, it's a DPS run. Who could kill who first? Alrighty. Well, I like my chances right now. I'm not sure how how much this is gonna hurt right now, but I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, okay, yeah, we could definitely do this. We got this. This is in the bag. One more attack should just about do it. He'll probably charge something else right now, so it is over. Dunsky. Get on down there, boy! Alrighty, so we got him down. Got a little bit of experience right there. And as the sparks die down, a disabled bot is slumped in front of you. It's not completely fried, but damage looks uh, severe. At any rate, it's down to the count, and you are still standing. Luna's voice crackles to life beside you. Looks like you ran into some trouble after all. Trouble? I barely broke a sweat. Any idea what this thing is? I'm no expert, but some high-level robotics work. Definitely not off the rack tin, if you catch my meaning. It must be worthwhile to cart it back, see if the baby ranch jockey can do anything with it. Good idea, I'll meet you back in the airlock. And I think we are now done over here, so... I am going to head back to town, and that's going to be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does me a lot. Again, Starcrawlers, if you're interested in the game, I'll have the information in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. It comes out on the 17th if I'm right, so uh, keep that in mind. Other than that, I will catch you next time.